basic music vocabulary learn how to talk about instruments in English. Does David play music in a band? Yes, David plays in a band. Where does Emma go for her music lessons? Emma goes to the music school. What instrument does David play? David plays the guitar. Can Emma sing while playing the guitar? Yes, Emma can sing while playing the guitar. Does David enjoy listening to guitar music? Yes, David enjoys listening to guitar music. Can Emma play the piano? Yes, Emma can play the piano. What time does David practice the flute? David practices the flute in the morning. What kind of songs does Emma sing? Emma sings pop songs. Does David have a flute? No, David doesn't have a flute. Does Emma teach music lessons? Yes, Emma teaches piano lessons. Does David want to learn the violin? Yes, David wants to learn the violin. What kind of music does Emma like? Emma likes classical music. How many instruments can David play? David can play two instruments. How long has Emma been playing the piano? Emma has been playing the piano for five years. Does David know how to play the drums? No, David doesn't know how to play the drums. What song is Emma playing on the piano? Emma is playing a jazz song. Does David like to play the guitar for fun? Yes, David likes to play the guitar for fun. How often does Emma practice the piano? Emma practices the piano every day. Can David play the piano and sing at the same time? No, David cannot play the piano and sing at the same time. What instrument does Emma want to learn next? Emma wants to learn the flute next. Daily routine, simple English questions and answers for beginners. What time do you wake up every day? I wake up at 7 a.m. every day. Do you eat breakfast in the morning? Yes, I usually eat breakfast at 8 a.m. When does Sheldon leave for work? Sheldon leaves for work at 9 a.m. What does Nancy do in the afternoon? Nancy usually reads a book in the afternoon. Where do you have lunch? I have lunch at a cafe near my office. Does Sheldon exercise in the evening? Yes, he exercises at the gym in the evening. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 10.30 p.m. How do you get to work? I take the bus to work. Does Nancy work on weekends? No, Nancy doesn't work on weekends. What do you do after work? After work, I like to watch TV. Where does Sheldon go for a walk? Sheldon goes for a walk in the park. What time do you have dinner? I usually have dinner at 7 p.m. Does Nancy cook dinner at home? Yes. She cooks dinner at home most days. How often do you go to the supermarket? I go to the supermarket twice a week. What time does Nancy start work? Nancy starts work at 8.30 a.m. Where do you buy your groceries? I buy my groceries from the local store. Does Sheldon drive to work? No, Sheldon takes the subway to work. What do you do on Sunday afternoons? On Sunday afternoons, I relax and read. How long does it take you to get to work? It takes me about 30 minutes to get to work. What time does Nancy finish work? She finishes work at 5 p.m. Discovering the Charm of Vienna Hi Fiona, have you ever been to Vienna?
No, I haven't. But I really want to go. Have you been there? Yes, I went there last year. It's a beautiful city with so much history. That sounds amazing. What did you like the most about Vienna? I love the architecture, especially the Schönbrunn Palace. And the food is delicious. Oh, I love trying new foods. What should I try if I visit? You should definitely try Wiener Schnitzel and Zahertorte. They are famous Viennese dishes. Yum! I can't wait to try them. Did you visit any museums? Yes, I went to the Kunsthistorisches Museum. It has an incredible collection of art. That sounds great. I enjoy visiting museums. How about public transport? Is it easy to get around? Yes, the public transport is very efficient. You can take the tram, bus, or subway. That's good to know. Did you stay in a hotel or an apartment? I stayed in a hotel near the city center. It was very convenient. Sounds perfect. Thank you for the tips, Albert. I'm excited to plan my trip to Vienna. You're welcome, Fiona. Have a great trip. At the hair salon, easy English conversation practice. Hi, Charles. It's great to see you. How have you been? Hi, Nancy. I've been good, thanks. Just a bit busy with work. How about you? I've been good too. I decided to get a haircut today. This salon is really nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. I come here often. The staff is very friendly and professional. What kind of haircut are you thinking of getting? I want something fresh and stylish for the summer. Maybe a shorter cut. What about you? Are you getting a haircut too? Yes, I'm just getting a trim. I like to keep it simple. Have you ever been to this salon before? No, this is my first time here. But I heard great things about it. Do you have any plans for the summer? Yes, I'm planning to visit Paris. I've always wanted to see the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum. How about you? That sounds amazing. I'm planning to go to Rome. I want to see the Colosseum and the Vatican. It's going to be an exciting trip. Rome is beautiful. The history there is incredible. Have you been to Europe before? Yes, I visited London last year. I saw the Big Ben and the Tower of London. It was an unforgettable experience. Have you traveled a lot? A bit. I've been to New York City and saw the Statue of Liberty. It's such a vibrant city. I love traveling and exploring new places. Me too. Traveling is the best way to learn about different cultures and histories. What's your favorite place you've visited? I think the Great Wall of China is my favorite. It's just so impressive. What about you? Do you have a favorite place? I love the beaches in Hawaii. They are so beautiful and relaxing. I can't wait to visit again someday. That sounds wonderful. I hope you have a great time in Rome this summer.
Maybe we can share our travel stories when we get back. That would be great. Enjoy your trip to Paris, Charles. And good luck with your haircut. Thanks, Nancy. You too. Have a great day.